Greetings, Starseeds and Lightworkers. Ava here. And today we have a great question around time and why it feels so freaking real here and what is actually happening on the higher dimension. So I'm really curious about this question. Those of you who are new here, welcome. I am a trans channel for the Pleiadians and specifically a woman named Diana. I don't know if she's a woman. She's a Pleiadian. That's what I know. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go right out and bring you in touch with the Pleiadians with the following question. Why does time feel so real here? What is happening at the higher dimensions in relation to time? Adam. Thank you, Adam, for your beautiful question. And if you want a question answered by Diana, go ahead and you can put it in the comments below. You can DM me or find me on all the platforms. You can go to the website. You can get a private reading from her. There are many options to plug in, get your questions answered. We're here every Monday doing this. So I hope that you're enjoying this. If you are, please share it, subscribe, do all the things, get this out there to wherever it needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and go out and put you in touch with the Pleiadians. Let's find out about time. Here we go. Greetings, this is Diana and the Pleiadian family. You see, we are here bringing the love and you want to know about the time. You see, well, the time is as real as you are. You see, so this is really important, you see, because mm, there is this thing that can happen where you mm, kind of mm, dodge the ball a little bit, where you mm, kind of misty, misty mark, so to speak, and you like try to go over here and say, pretend that mm, your reality does not matter or does not exist, you see, because you are aware of another dimension where mm, it is completely different. And it is not to negate your experience on any of the planes of existence, you see, but to understand that each has its role to play and that each one is real when you are in the experience of it, you see. So we do not negate or dismiss what is happening in all the different dimensionalities of existence, you see, because in some worlds, we are literally tapping into the depth of the nothingness, you see, where there's barely an experience or there to have any witness to anything. And then we're having other experiences where we're way up high in the, the multidimensionality of our higher self and our higher expressions and all of the, all of the, all of the, all of the, you see, all of the above, you see, and it just goes in infinite directions in both ways, you see. So where does time fit into this? It fits into the dimensionality where you are playing it out, you see. And so as you are in the world of form, what is happening in the, the, the blueprint of creation, it is the, the, the symbiotic movement of the, the form through form, through, from the formless into form and then back into the formless, you see. And so you are the play of consciousness moving and breathing this whole thing we call life. So in the in a particular perspective of it, it appears as though you had this linearity where there is this string of line that is have it diverted up into sections of past, present, future. When in reality, if we take a bigger breath, we see, oh, this is all part of the, the of the folding. The bending of the, the pattern, you see, so it is bending of consciousness, bending of the mind, bending of the time, bending of the experience into a new reality, into a folding of what you could even consider a parallel reality, what you call a mm, past life or a present life or a future life or a parallel life, a parallel reality, and not, a, not a multidimensionality, a multidimensional timeline. All of these things, all these ways of our ways of perceiving experience, ways of perceiving reality through dimensionality. You see, so on one particular dimension, it seems very much one, two, three, but then you go, mm, you expand uh, around in all directions, you see, and all of a sudden it's like um, a, a house full of mirrors, a room of mirrors, and you're wondering which way to look and which one is real, you see, which one is the dream and which one is reality, you see, so it is questions like this. So it is because of that, because of the multidimensionality and the infinite nature of the perspective of creation, and that, that you are the creator and making the creation in every moment and having the experience through the creation itself, creator, created creation, all of it happening in the, in the awe of it all, that that is why it appears as though there can be linearity within a very nonlinear experience, depending on the perspective and the lens through which you see. You see, so it is really mm, simply the angle, angularity of perspective that it makes time exist and, and perceived, you see. So it is only because of the dimension that you are on it that the time has any meaning to it, you see, because you give it meaning. You see, the, the movement and the, the patterning of consciousness simply is. It is very neutral, you see, in its existence, you see. But the, the meaning is coming from 
the, the humans, you see, your emotionality, your mind, brilliant minds, give meaning to the patterns, give meaning to the form, give meaning to the light, give meaning to the experiences that are being had in every moment, give meaning to the frequency and the sound waves of movement, of patterning upon the earth, upon the frequencies, upon the humans. So it is all happening in the pattern and the form. And you can be, of awe, be in awe of it and be the, the, the observer of it all. And then we can also create a world full of meaning. Some can be, mm, be through one lens and, and, and we can say that, that it looks like this and feels like this and, and breathes like this. Or we can look at through it another lens and say it looks and feels and breathes like this, you see. And then that's where we get a little bit of argument to say, oh, this person said this, and this is completely f- false information. And one person can say, well, this is false information, and who's right, who's wrong? You see, it's just the lens through which we are seeing and feeling and experiencing and perceiving our different angles on creation, you see. Different outcomes, different, um, in different ways of uh, different objectives even, you see. Of the same experience, you see. So this is this is partially why we get into to the 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 ways of relating with each other that we do as well, you see. So this is a very maybe a little bit more in the head than we usually like to be for these kind of questions. You see, we like the hard ones that let us go a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit ribbing people in the side, a little bit joking around, ha ha. Mm, but this was fine. This is fine. This is a good question, you see, for the mind. And and we like the ones where we can play a little bit, too. So we'll give you the free range to, to bring in more questions, you see. We'll keep it a little bit tight and short today. But we'll say we are very grateful for all of you here. You're doing a great job at being the humans. I know you like to hear this in, and that you hear it a lot from us, but this is really very true, you see. So just keep going with it. Keep going with it. Even the days where it feels a little weary and tiresome, know that you are really right on point you are not behind you are not off track you are right where you are meant to be blessings from the pleiadian family ah i trust that that message was exactly what you needed to hear today if you liked it go ahead and share it and like it subscribe do all the things and if you want a question asked you can do that hop it on in the comments below hop it on the website you can get a reading over there as well. You can sign up for that. And I look forward to seeing you here again next week if you enjoyed this. Thanks so much and blessings.